Hey, Hot Rod fans, today we're going to talk about this incredible build. It's a 33 Hudson Terraplane that started life as a two-door sedan, okay? You guys know who Aaron Kaufman and Richard Rawlings are of Gas Monkey Garage. Back in 05, a gentleman went to Richard and Aaron and asked to do a custom build. This is before Gas Monkey Garage became the anomaly that it is today. We have Aaron's hand-drawn drawings conceptual of this car. So the chop on it, uh, the custom wheels, the stance, the look. Aaron created all this some 13 years ago before these guys had all the fame and fortune that's come to them today. So it's one of their original hot rods that they built. I dare say it's probably the only 33 Hudson airplane hot rod in the world. So check it out. It starts with uh, the power plant. It's a Thunderbird 312 with three deuces on it. It's got a chrome front end, uh, custom wheels done by Aaron. It's got huge uh, uh, headlights and real tiny 59 taillights on the back. It's got thin uh, disc brake covers on the front. It was done right. Uh, really nice custom interior. This car just exudes customization from the get-go. So after this car was finished in an electric blue finish, they put a killer blood red interior on it. Uh, you got custom bucket seats uh, made out of aluminum and all the fasteners and everything else in here are stainless. The car's only got 103 miles on it since it's built. Uh, it's immaculate, it has a really good stance to it and sounds great. Uh, Mark's gonna tell you a little bit more about the history of the car and about the build that Aaron can see. Fortunately, we were able to get uh, from Gas Monkey a lot of the original paperwork when they were designing this car. And the story is that they actually bought it up in Illinois from a long-term owner. Actually, I believe it was the original family they bought it from. And they were able to actually get the original title with the car. Um, this is the official first title for this Hudson. Um, it really tells you that they started with a nice, clean, stock car. Um, to really build this crazy radical hot rod. And then we have original pin drawings from Aaron. This is the actual original sheet here uh, in red ink. And you can kind of see Aaron's um, ideas he had going on. And then one of my favorite parts is the custom wheels. Um, I have lots of drawings. He really got really deep into how he wanted these wheels to look. And some of these are actually different uh, concepts he had going on. And then the wheels you see today, you can see as he started building, and then takes it to the uh, wheel machine, and this is the actual CAD drawing of it. And he still made some pin adjustments, how, how deep he wanted the wheel, all kinds of really cool notes on this car. You get to see some of the real old gas monkey stuff, like this is their real old, uh, um, what do you call it, their, their actually their letterhead, which is the skull before the uh, first monkey, now they're at the second monkey. They built this car, started building this car in 2005. Aaron designed the car ground up. Gas Monkey at the time, they were starting the race, the rallies, him and Richard Rawlings. So uh, they started the car and then they passed the car off. They were doing this for a client. They passed it off to another hot rod shop in Texas and they actually finished the build work, but Aaron was uh, pretty much going over there weekly and making some changes here and there all the way to the end for the client. So. This is the car you see today. It hasn't really changed much since then. Um, it's a really neat car. I think you should take time to really check it out. In today's age, custom hot rods like this one you see right here, um, it has really become a lost art. We really um, are starting to take that for granted, I believe. We're seeing less and less hot rods, real custom from the ground up built hot rods, less and less of them, especially ones that have been built recently. Uh, the younger generation, there's not many of them doing it. Um, fortunately, there, there are a couple who are out there, like Aaron Kaufman, um, that is building some really kick-ass hot rods, and this is one right here. It's an excellent car to spend some money on it, enjoy it. Actually, you can invest in this car because I'm telling you what, in five, 10 years plus on, there's gonna be less and less of true custom hot rods. And one built from this generation on is, I think, uh, is gonna be a big deal someday. So uh, thanks for watching.
Exotica.com.